Okay, so we get questions on where does the tonnage come from in heating and air conditioning? And I've talked with the students about this a few times. They've already drawn this latent sensible heat graph. This whole graph here is what we call the enthalpy of water from zero degrees Fahrenheit, one pound of it, all the way up to 212 degrees steam. All right, and we use this graph to show this is where the meat and potatoes is done right in here. So when you're going this way, that's the latent heat of vaporization. And this is what we're doing in the evaporator. And we actually superheat the vapor, so that's going to go above this saturation line here a little bit. And then we come back down into here for the condensing, out in the outside unit for the condenser when we're rejecting our heat. And the subcooling comes over here. When we get a few degrees below the saturation temperature, we can get really any temperature below, and that would be subcooling. So we've talked about that. We've seen that in the graph. But right here is where all our calculations for tonnage get done. And you might hear people say that you have a one-ton unit, two-ton unit, three-ton unit. They get that number from this part of the latent sensible heat graph. Now all this is at sea level, standard pressure, standard conditions. So at 32 degrees, they've calculated it takes 144 BTUs worth of heat to melt a one-pound block of ice from 32 degrees solid to 32 degree liquid. So in tonnage, we're normally dealing with, instead of one pound, we're dealing with 2,000 pounds of a substance is equal to a ton, one ton. So if we wanted to calculate how many BTUs is needed to melt, or if I went the other way and, and took away the heat, then I could make a 2,000 pound block of ice by multiplying this by 144 BTUs and that gives me the number 288,000 BTUs. Now if I was doing this with matches and I was trying to melt this ice from here to here, then I would uh, probably have to do a full day's worth of work, 24 hour period to get all this one ton block of ice melted from here, 32 degrees solid to 32 degree liquid. So what I would end up having to do is about 12,000 matches per hour, BTUs per hour of work to make one ton block of ice. So that's where they get the 12,000 BTUs from. So if you hear somebody say they have a one ton unit, what that means is that unit can remove 12,000 BTUs worth of heat, BTUs worth of heat in a 24, uh, in a one hour period. And then if it's a two ton unit then, how many is that gonna be? So one times 12,000, how many is two, two gonna be? Is it 20? Hey, what say? 24,000, 24,000 BTUs, yeah, and then three tons, 36, yeah, 36,000, and then they can also go down the other way, really we don't have, they have four ton, five ton, they don't have a four and a half, uh, but you can kind of make one by combining a five ton indoor and a four ton outdoor, really want to match them though, indoor, outdoor, it's all the same. So we can also go the other way. We can go to a half a ton. How many BTUs would that be? 6,000. 6,000 BTUs, yep. And then a quarter ton is 3,000 BTUs. And usually for refrigeration now, anything smaller than half or quarter, we start talking about horsepower. And that's a different formula that we have to do, a different calculation. Because they figure out that uh, one horsepower equals 746 watts, and then one watt, it takes 3.4 BTUs, so to, to generate one watt of uh, electricity. Or we can use one watt of electricity to generate 3.4 watts of heat. So there's, uh, or 3.4 BTUs worth of heat. So we can start working out numbers a little differently when these sizes get a little small. But normally we got like a ton and a half. So if a ton is 12,000, what's a ton and a half going to be? Well, 18,000. Yeah, 18,000. Yeah, and then two and a half, 30,000, 30, and then three and a half would be 42,000, all right? And we already said that the four ton is 48, and the five ton is 60, and then usually from there we start going up into tons by two and a half, where it'll be seven and a half, 10, 12 and a half, 15, 20, 25, now we start going up by five tons, 50, 100, 125, we can start going up from there, okay? We just keep adding the BTUs from there, but mostly for all residential stuff, it's gonna be somewhere in the one and a half to a five ton range. And most homes that are like 6,000 square feet, they'll have a five ton and a four ton unit that might have two different units. So that's how we size the equipment, and uh, it's just a, the way they figured it out. See you guys later. Hit stop on there for me. Students, Tiamara,